Hello everybody, welcome back to Off Grid Living in Belize. So today I wanna to talk about propagating lemongrass. Uh, we use lemongrass on the homestead a lot. We use it for a lot of different things. It has a lot of different health properties that I'm gonna go over that on another time in a different video of what we use for the lemongrass, but I'm gonna show you how we propagate lemongrass here on the homestead. So as you can see, here's a lemongrass plant right here. This is what I call the mother plant. This is the one plant that I got about nine months ago. So this plant right here, I got about nine months ago and it was only this little piece. I actually got it when we were driving back from Mexico because I couldn't find lemongrass here in Belize. So I got this piece right here from Mexico. Now out of this one piece, what I've been able to do is propagate this and turn this into basically unlimited lemongrass so what i've done is i've been able to turn this one piece right here into all of this So this lemongrass right here, these bigger ones, I planted these about, I'm going to say about five months ago. And when I planted these, these were all single pieces off the mother piece. So they all looked like this. They were all just one of these little pieces right here. So these right here were planted, like I said, about five months ago. And you can see these things grow so fast. And that's even with us clipping them because we harvest them to make things with. Like I said, I'm going to go over that in a different video. So these right here, like I said, are five months. And you can see these are really taking off. And they're also good for hedges. That's the reason why I have them lined up. I'm going to line the entire homestead with these because they're a deterrent. They're a deterrent for snakes, uh, mosquitoes, all different kinds of insects because the leaves are sharp and they can cut. So these right here are five months old. And you can see they are healthy and doing really good. So after the mother plant grew again, I did the same thing again that I'm going to show you. I took some more. These right here are two months old. And these are already starting to take off. But even these, these were all just one little piece like this, one little stem. So you can see how fast, even in two months, that these grow. These right here are one month. As you can see, like I said, they're just the single stem, but these are already starting to stand straight back up, starting to get healthy. And I'm gonna continue around the entire homestead. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how I separate the small stems from the mother plant. It's really not that hard. Like I said, this is what works for us here and it's been working really, really well. We have so much lemongrass now and it all started with just one plant. So let's go see how to separate these root systems. All right, so you're gonna need a smaller shovel, especially if you're doing it in a pot. Um, and you're going to need something to put a little bit of water in because once you get this plant out of this pot You're going to want to put it and let it soak in the water a minute. And it's really not that hard. I just go around Where the root system is It's okay to damage these roots Even damage they grow back really really fast and these roots will fill up an entire pot on you so Just pull up from the bottom Alright, bang as much soil off as you can as you don't want a lot of mud inside your water. But you can see, there's already a bunch of roots on here and I put this mother plant back in this pot. Uh, it was almost a, yeah, almost a month ago when I had the little ones that I just put in the ground, I put this one back in the pot. So what you're going to want to do is when you get it out, you're going to want to take 
and just soak these roots in water. You're gonna wanna get off all the mud, all the dirt, as much as you can until you're just left with the roots. And then I like to let it soak in here. Uh, normally I do it overnight. I like to let the roots soak in there. It's not gonna hurt the plants. It hasn't hurt any of mine. And then I'll do it the next day because when the uh, roots soak, soak up all the water in the bottom of the plants, they're a lot easier to separate. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and soak this for a little bit and then we'll come back and show you how we separate it. All right, so these have been soaking for a while and I wanna show you. So this right here, like I said, this one in the middle is the mother plant. And you can tell the mother, if you look at this one long root, this is one big long root. This all goes to this one that's in the center. All these little ones on the side, these are all the ones that you can take off of here and propagate. Now, some of these you're gonna pull and you might get a long root, maybe two or three inches. Uh, some of these you're gonna pull and you might get uh, a root that is, you know, a couple centimeters but it doesn't matter as long as it has some kind of root on it these things are going to grow back fast so what I do is I'll take it and just gently pull as you can see on this one how many roots that I have on this one here's another one that's off to the side just kind of take it pull here's another one take it pull there's another one. Take it, pull. And see, that's what I'm talking about, the smaller root. It's, a, it's completely fine if you have a root that's that size. Sorry about my dog in the background. He's uh, barking at birds and stuff again. Bandit, hush. So I'll pull these back. Here's another one. You see, it's got a little root on it. That's fine. Here's another one. root that's fine so this right here is the mother plant this is what i'm going to put back in the pot so this one is going to go back in the pot i'm going to dig a hole all the way down completely bury this fill it all the way back up pack that soil in around it and then about another month a lot of times I'll let it go. So in a month, I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a big one. So in a month, I've gotten nine more lemongrass plants. So I'm going to go get these in the ground. I'm going to show you how we do that. All right, time to get this in the ground. Just put the shovel in the ground. Move it back and forth. I'll make a little cusp. As you can see right here. I'll make sure those roots are down in there. I'll pull the shovel out. Just pack in with my foot the rest. I'll do it again, and I try to keep them about a foot apart, run in a straight line. Once again, back and forth with the shovel, get a little piece, get those roots all the way down in there. Pull up on the shovel. Sometimes it'll come out. You just gotta push the roots back down in there. Make sure it's in there. Push the soil back down. Normally, the day after you do this, all the leaves will be down on the ground. Don't let that worry you. Give it about two days. Everything will be standing straight up. I put a little bit of water on it. When I do this, maybe half a cup each. That's it, I don't water it anymore. 
All right, guys, so as you can see, letting the mother plant grow for just one month, I was able to get not as many as I normally get. If I let it grow two, three months, normally I get 25 to 30 little lemongrass plants. But I think I counted, it was either eight or nine that I just got from letting it be in there for a month. And you can see, I put them about a foot apart and uh, these will take off and grow just like the other ones did. So yeah, that's pretty much how I've learned to get endless lemongrass from one plant rather than just keeping one plant in a pot. But you can also do this in a pot. You can still separate it and get more pots. Um, like I said, we're gonna do another video on harvesting and actually what we do with this lemongrass. But I hope this uh, sheds some light and helps people that are looking to get into lemongrass and want to propagate it some. Like I said, lemongrass has a lot of health benefits to it. Uh, one of the big things is it uh, improves your red blood cell count. It's good for anxiety. And it's also good for your bowels, for your intestines and stuff. Really, really good. So there's all different kinds of uses. So hope you got some information out of this video. Please uh, just take a second, like, share, subscribe to our channel. We'll keep uh, bringing you videos from the homestead. Thanks for watching.